Okay, today I've got, uh, this is an 8 inch by 3 inch wide piece of basswood that I've kind of trimmed down and um, kind of got it uh, where I want it in terms of the design that I'm looking for. And what I did was I rounded off the bottom because he's going to be standing on a kind of like a snowy perch. Um, and I've left some of the parts fat here on the sides just so I've got some room to kind of work with the arms. So he's going to be, at least the initial theory is, he's going to be holding a bag. And then over here I thought maybe a staff. Um, and if I can, I'll fit in some shoes. Robe would come down something like, like this to be determined exactly how this is going to look. Um, but like with everything on a carving, when you first start, you got the initial shape down. A little heavy on this shoulder, but I can take care of that later. So what I'm going to do now is just go around this lower line here for the band of the hat. And I'm going to use my gouge to take that out. And then I'm going to use this gouge to kind of work into that line all the way around. Okay, so I've got all that taken out, and I've kind of given him this sand a little bit of a cap. If you notice in the brow here, uh, the brim of this cap, I've kind of raised it just a little bit. So that's going to give him a little, oh, I don't know, a different kind of look. So establish the center line, reestablish that. Comes in there. Eyes, nose, about like this. And just kind of pencil in these details again, like uh, the mustache. Okay. Looking for the right gouge over here. Like as visible as these things are, it's sort of amazing how they just kind of disappear on, on you. But um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and carve the face. And I, I won't drag you through all the details because I've done... Uh, earlier videos where I kind of show the whole process of of carving the, the face. But it always starts with outlining the eyes and the nose. Again, you don't want to push too hard. That's a lot of the wood carving process is knowing when to really bear down and then knowing when to kind of push but yet hold your knife back. So we're getting there. I'm going to go ahead and keep working on these eyes and then pick it up again once I got that finished. Okay, I'm back to the eyes here, and I've got the eyes looking pretty good. I've got a nice flat platform here. Same thing on this side. Symmetry looks good, and I've just kind of penciled everything else in. So I've got this really narrow gouge to kind of get in there and shape these eyes, like you've seen me do before. So it just takes a real steady hand just follow that pencil line. I think this gouge is probably like a, a two millimeter. 
They start off like that, but then they get a little, as they get older, they get a little wider. Let's see how close I can get this when I'm done. That's not too bad. It's got a little too much right there. And just take the knife and reinforce that cut you just made. Real light though, you don't want to go deep. It's nice that all the dogs are <clears throat> nice and quiet right now. I think they're still tired from when they got out of the gate yesterday afternoon. That was a real ordeal. I don't know how, but they were jumping. The one is uh, like a little kangaroo. She was jumping at the latch. And I'll be darned if the latch didn't open. Next thing I know, she's out on the road. I won't go into the details, but it was great entertainment for the neighbors. Me trying to catch two dogs. One and got one little one here, a Chihuahua Corgi mix. And I had was chasing him and I had the bigger one in my arms. Those things we do for these little guys. Okay, so I'm going to shape this a little bit more with this tool. You can see I gotta make this eye match now. This process just takes patience and time. Well, the whole thing takes patience, of course. But we're going for symmetry here. forgot to do around the eyes. So on this part, just try to line it up at the lower eye. Rock it back and forth just slightly. Same thing over here. Okay. Now it's pretty much up to you. You can make your Santa look a little bit older by taking, this is my dockyard tools. And um, I think I've talked about these before, but these are real tiny gouges, like very tiny U-gouge. And you could actually come in here and um, several things you can do. You can, you can outline the eyebrows, you can pencil those in, and then just carefully go around it with this. And then use this tool to take out the material around the eyebrows. And you can also come in here and go underneath the eye, ever so carefully, both sides. And that just gives them a little bit uh, more of an aged look, makes them look a little bit more a little older. Okay, so the next step is the cheeks. And I'm just going to go in with this K2 
College. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. And then I'll drop down and do the mustache. And we're going to keep on going to the beard and sort of work our way down. Okay, so this sand is coming along pretty good. You can see I've got the mustache taken care of. Got a little detail I got to do up in here. The next step is to carve out the outline for the beard. And he's going to be holding a bag right here, a Christmas bag. So I want to get the top of the bag referenced. Leave a little material for that. And probably just come in here like this. Got to start taking material out down here. in a small way, like this. Might as well do a lower level of the Santa. He's going to look kind of like this on the base. I want to establish something like this, like a little snowy ledge. So, I'm going to establish the lower level like this. Kind of using this calloused thumb right here to kind of push along the knife kind of guide it a little bit gives you a little more control So I think the next step is just kind of working along this area. And just taking out some of this material. As always, keep your hands away from the tools. So I think I'll do that on the other side and then we'll start to work on this area right in here along with maybe getting some material taken out down in this area. Just kind of working, working my way down. Okay, so just kind of working along a little bit. I used my 45 degree gouge just to outline a little bit in here. I think I'll establish a little bit more space around um, these elbows.
This looks a little crude at the moment, but he'll clean up pretty good in the end. And I've got a lot of work to do up in here, removing material in the kind of like the inside elbow. Same thing over here. But I think on this one, I'm just going to finish on this side and establish this. do is start working on the inside of the elbow in here. I usually try working out some of these designs on a smaller scale, like, you know, the six by six inch. Santa, but in this one, I just decided to wing it here with the eight inch Santa. Looking a little rough at the moment here, but he's getting there. is just going slow and as you're looking at it you know you just kind of look at things and say well that's a little too high you just kind of learn to you know what you want it to look like so you just kind of pick away <laughs> at it until until you get to that point he's getting there so on to this side. I'm just going to keep working at this and come back in a second. Okay, so he's coming along. I've got to redo some of uh, the staff over here just to give me a little reference on how wide it's going to be. Okay. I kind of want to do a little bit around here, around the, I always like to work down as a general rule. So I'm going to establish a little more 
of the top of this sack right here. Just doing a stop cut around the base of this sack right here. You want to just make sure your knife is oriented straight down and not at an angle. Okay. So now it's just cleanup time. And I'm going to clean up around the mittens here. You have to be thinking of, in a 3D sense, what's going to be sticking out the most at this stage. So top of the 3D spectrum here, if you will, as you're looking down at it, this is going to be, the mitten's going to be sticking out the most. This is secondary, this is secondary. You have to just be thinking about that as you're carving. And that will guide how deep you go. the mitten to kind of curve back in here a little bit like he's clenching it And for some of this material that's kind of in this area right here, this nice little fat U gouge is perfect for getting in there. Like this. Every tool has its own little niche specialty, and I think you just kind of keep a, a catalog of that, a catalog of its capabilities mentally, and you just kind of pull it off the shelf as you, as you need it. You see a need for what it can do. So I'm going to keep working along this area right around the mittens and I'm just going to keep picking away at this and 
take what's looking a little messy and just keep working at it until I get it a little bit nicer. Okay, I'm just carving away here. I'm listening to uh, my oldies on Pandora here and just kind of time just flies by. It's a shame I can't uh, play the radio while I'm carving, but evidently that's, uh, that's a big no-no. Yeah, I love those oldies songs. I really don't even know what's current. And that's, I know that's so sad. I have no idea what current radio or radio, <laughs> you know, what, what's on Spotify and what the young folks are listening to. I just keep listening to a lot of the same old things. Every now and again you hear uh, something that's kind of nice, that's kind of current, but I don't know, not very often, sad to say. Just kind of stuck in the oldies. All I need is good coffee and oldies. Everything else is uh, doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just kind of babbling away as I'm carving here. Um, just kind of shaping everything up. Want this mitten to look like a, a mitten. You know, a lot of times while I'm standing here or sitting here, I'll, I'll think about what this should look like. You know, like I'll, I'll even just kind of clench my hand just to get, oh, there's angles to this. You got an angle here, you got an angle there, you got, you got this angle. So as stupid as that sounds, you know, Akira is clenching the bag just to get the perspective of the angles. Um, in kind of a weird way, I'll sit here and I'll clench my fist like I'm holding a bag. Just so, you know, I don't forget the angles, you know, and what they should be for the fingers. Well, he's coming along pretty... Good. I think he's past the firewood status here. Used to be when I started carving, I'd make something and, uh, so, you know, everybody would say, well, let's see what you're working on. Uh, no, thanks. No, no, no. Why not? Show me. And it's like, no, if it looks good, I'll, I'll let you see. A lot of times... It was practice firewood, is all I was doing. That's, that's all right. What the heck? You got to learn somehow. If you don't like it the first time, well, you learn something in the process. Toss it and start again. And I kind of stopped asking people what they thought. Hey, look what I carved. What do you think? Oh, oh, his nose. Ugh. What? Uh. And I'm like, well, you pick up a set of tools and you, you try it, you know? Oh, his nose isn't right. You know, I get all this kind of feedback and I just stopped asking people what they thought. Because I, I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, his nose is a, a little weird. And then I just said to myself, I was like, well, you know what a nose should look like. I mean, that doesn't look like a nose. So it's okay to carve firewood. Nothing wrong with that. would be kind of nice to eventually have a channel where I can live stream the whole carving process. I don't know if that's even possible, you know, given the length of time that it takes to carve one of these guys. But I thought that would be kind of fun just to, 
you know, maybe on TikTok or something like that. Where people could kind of jump in. Or even YouTube, I guess. So I'm going to keep um, working on this bag a little bit and the side of this cane. I want to work on this and then my next thing when I come back you'll see that I've removed some of this material over here. He's got, kind of got a little bit of a wide body effect going on here so I'm going to take some of this out and work on just kind of working lower here. Start to work on some of this area right in here. But overall, he's coming along pretty good. I haven't even started to work on the back yet. But we'll get there. 